When it comes to pet hair, you got a few options. Vacuum it up if that's your thing. You can use a lame lint roller, which wear out quickly. You can use your teeth. But if you're trying to keep a neat and tidy household, I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend trying to get rid of it somehow. Because I have been in a few people's homes over the course of my life that have let them go a bit and it's no bueno. It's just straight up ill. Today I'm here to talk about the Chom Chom Pet Hair Removal Roller tool or product, whatever you want to call it. This sucker has over 2,400 five-star reviews on Amazon and is also Amazon's choice for pet hair removal products, so I thought I'd give it a shot. And today I put it to the test. It's coming up next. Gadget Jeff. Beep beep. Well, hello again, YouTube, and welcome back to Gadget Jeff TV, where I, Jeff, review cool toys and gadgets that I find interesting. You know, on my channel, sometimes you get really cool stuff like jetpacks, and other times you get pet hair removal products, but that's just how it goes. But don't bounce out of this video quite yet because if you do own a pet, you know how frustrating it can be to get rid of pet hair. I'm always down to make my life a little bit easier any way I can. More efficient, quicker, easier, and so on. And when it comes to pet hair removal, the Chom Chom Roller takes the cake. As you guys know, I have a cat named Schmish, and although he is a loving fellow, he is also a shedding fellow. Day in and day out, he just loves laying on my fluffy rug, as well as blankets all around the house. Even though I comb this little dude quite regularly, he still, bless his heart, sheds like the dickens. Also, my mother has this little long-haired chihuahua named Joey, and he as well sheds like there is no tomorrow. Like the little guy, he's a little lame. I'm more into big dogs, but that's for another video. Now, over the years, I have tried a variety of products, all promising pet hair freedom, but the truth of the matter is, pet hair still gets on my clothes, furniture, it's a never-ending battle. A quick search on Amazon for pet hair removal brings up the Chom Chom Roller, and with almost 2,500 five-star reviews, I thought, hey, for 24 bucks, it's worth a shot. After receiving and using this thing for about a month now, I have to go over some of the highlights. It works. Flat out works. You just simply rub it back and forth like this over the hairy area, and lo and behold, it lifts the hair quickly and easily. What's even better is it then stores all the hair into this little easily open compartment where you can see all the goodies that you got. Another cool thing about this product is there's no batteries needed. It's an eco-friendly product, as they say. Screw old school lint rollers which wear out after just a few seconds of use. And screw trying to brush off hair every time you put on clothes. How barbaric. Every now and again I will let the little chihuahua hump my leg happy because you know what? I know how awesome it is to hump things. I feel for them. But unfortunately, it leaves my jeans a mess in more ways than one if you get my drift. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. But luckily, chom chom to the rescue. A couple quick strokes back and forth and my jeans are as good as new. Again, I do highly recommend this product. I give it the Gadget Jeff five star review as well. Um, I don't really want to make this video too long as it's just pet hair removal. It's not that exciting, but it does work. Now there are a few counterfeit knockoff type uh, versions of this product floating around. I haven't had a chance to test them, but from what I've read on forums, they jam up easily and just don't have the same performance. So if you do want to purchase the Chom Chom Roller, I will put a link in the description to where you can get them on Amazon. The company actually just released some limited edition cat and dog models. So if you want it to not just be plain white and you want it to have some type of theme to it, there you go. Speaking of cats and dogs, have you guys ever seen the movie Milo and Otis? I remember watching this as a kid and thinking it was the cutest, greatest adventure of all time. I watched this the other day with my girlfriend and as an adult, it's actually quite a traumatizing movie. This movie was made back in the 80s before CGI and computer and all those special effects were around, so we're actually using real cats and dogs for all the scenes. And I have to admit, there's a couple scenes where they're like, they throw a cat off a cliff and a cat's being attacked by seagulls and a little pug's attacking a bear and they're fighting and it's pretty traumatizing. And from what I've read on the internet, 20 cats were actually killed in the making of this movie. So I'm not trying to like kill the vibe here, but as an adult watching this movie, it just leave, didn't leave me warm and fuzzy like it did as a child. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or concerns, thoughts, whatever, leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to respond. I'll see you soon. Later.